Hello everyone, my name is Natalie and I am a tour guide at the Aerospace Museum of California. Now, I have a question for you. When you look up at the moon on a clear starry night, what do you see? Craters, exactly, you see moon craters. But how did the moon get those craters? Why do we call the moon an old cheese wheel? Well, let's talk about that. During six of NASA's Apollo missions, astronauts went to the moon to take samples of moon rock back to Earth. From those samples, we have learned that about 3.9 billion years ago, our solar system was filled with asteroid-sized pieces of matter that were zipping around and crashing into our planets, including the Earth and the moon. And that caused the craters that we now see on the moon. Now, the Earth used to have those same craters. However, due to natural occurrences on our planet, such as earthquakes and a process called weathering, which defined by the National Geographic, is the breaking down or dissolving of rocks and minerals on or near the Earth's surface. Due to weathering and earthquakes, the Earth's craters are no longer really visible. However, the moon still has them. So let's do an activity that you can also do at home. What you will need is a cake pan, such as this one, some flour, either cocoa powder or in my case expired matcha powder, some sprinkles, in my case I'm using some very cute star sprinkles, either a spoon or a sifter, and last but not least, some little rocks that you can find in your backyard. Preferably three rocks of different sizes. So we have our cake pan filled about a half inch to an inch thick with flour, as well as our sprinkles on top of that, and then a thin, evenly spread layer, in my case matcha powder or cocoa powder, whatever works, on the top. So it should look something like this. Now what we're going to do is learn about how craters were formed on the surface of the moon. In order to do that, I have my three different sized rocks to experiment with today. I'm only going to show you a couple so that way you can experiment at home and discover some new things about how craters are formed. So I'm going to start with my smallest rock. We are going to pretend that this is the surface of my moon and this is that asteroid sized piece of matter that I talked about earlier. So this is flying through space, it's flying through my solar system kitchen and, <laughs> and in my case I think I'm going to start out by taking my asteroid piece of matter, eh, bringing it up here, my little rock, and I'm gonna drop it into my mixture and see what kind of crater it forms. So five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> Whoa, that was a big impact. Did you hear that? All right, so, oh my God, I am a mess. <laughs> So this is the crater that I just formed. We see my rock just plopped right in there and bounced out. And now we have the rim of our crater showing right there. So let's see what would happen if my rock were to hit my moon from an angle instead of just dropping down. Hmm. 
Hmm, so this is what happened after I threw my small rock at an angle into my moon. Now you can see where the crater was formed, but you can also see these lines of flower that formed in the direction that I threw my rock. You can actually see these same lines on the moon. These are called ejecta patterns or ejecta rays. In addition to our ejecta rays that we see there, our sprinkles, like this one right here, represent the minerals that are also brought up to the surface when a crater is formed on the moon. Well, I hope you had fun watching me do this moon crater activity today. Um, if you'd like to see more education material made by us at the Aerospace Museum of California, uh, go ahead and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, if you end up doing the Moon Crater activity at home, uh, it's great to do with friends, family, or by yourself. Uh, feel free to share with us at Aerospace CA for Instagram and Twitter, and at Aerospace Museum CA on Facebook. Thank you so much. Um, if you'd like to see the procedures for the activity uh, directly from NASA JPL, feel free to check the description below. And from all of us here at the Aerospace Museum of California, thank you so much, and we are hoping to see you soon. Thank you.